What's up, Red Dogs? Good morning, how we doing? Got another Coach Gates tutorial for you today. So today we're gonna to talk about the velocity pull down day, otherwise known as running guns. If, uh, if we were training as a team, today would be the fun day where we get the radar gun out and we track your progress with the velocity development program. Um, as I reminded you guys about three or four days ago, if you hadn't thrown a lot for a week or two leading up to beginning this workout, you should be taking it easy the first week or two. So maybe you're not gonna reach that max 100% effort on those 15 to 20 velocity pull downs today. Always listen to your arm. If your arm feels great and you wanna max it out, go for it. If you feel tight, if you feel sore, if you feel any weakness, take it easy. Just go through the motions like you would in a nice easy long toss day. Um, okay, couple reminders. I made myself a little list today. I feel like today's an important day. I don't want anybody getting hurt, but I want you to get a lot out of uh, today. Maybe the most important part of these high effort throwing days are the general warm up. When you look at your workout calendar, it's the purple link. That general warm up is a very important full body warm up to get yourself ready to stretch out and begin throwing. Don't skip that stuff. If there's anything that you have difficulty completing it, substitute it with some other type of stretch or warm up. High knees, jumping jacks, anything to get the body warmed up. Along those lines, the throwing warm up drills are just as important. So that's your foam rolling, Jaeger bands, shoulder tube, um, wrist weights. Hopefully you have a little routine now to substitute for any of that gear that you don't have. But if there's throwing warm-ups that you're skipping, you can implement regular pre-game warm-up like we would do as a team. All right, all those drills are important as well. So whether it's circles, forward and backward, slow L's, alternating L's, up and downs, no monies. You're going through all those same patterns that a lot of those J bands and wrist weight exercises and shoulder tube exercises, you know, recreate. So that's a good replacement. That routine circles forwards and backwards, L's, up and downs, no monies. That routine could be added to replace those equipment devices that you may not have at home. Um, all right, now, when you get to the plyo care portion of today's throwing routine for reverse throws, if all you're working with is a waterlogged weighted ball and a regular ball, the menu says 10 reverse throws, do five with the waterlogged, five with the regular. When you get to the pivot picks, same deal. Do five with the waterlogged, five with the regular. The same for the roll-in drill. Five with the waterlogged, five with the regular. I think if you don't have plyo balls, by the time you get to the rockers, and the walking windup, you should be using just the regular baseball. If you like throwing the weighted ball, you could do like two weighted ball, two regular ball, but I think it's fine if you go four regular throws with the regular baseball. In there, I'm holding my little menu, my little uh, notes here. In their workout, they say 10 reverse throws, 10 pivot picks, 10 roll-ins, and then four throws with each weight for the rocker drill, four throws with each weight for the walking windups. So you could go four each with a regular baseball there. And then they recommend long toss if needed. So I'm gonna demonstrate this. If you have no one to long toss with, whatever net or wall you're throwing your plyo balls into, you can long toss into that net or, net or wall. Just go shuffles. The early long toss, if needed, is to get your body warmed up. So I'll demonstrate a couple of nice, easy long toss throws. I'm just gonna do a little shuffle with a step behind. And I'm starting to stretch my arm out. This is not the pull down phase yet. I'm not throwing at max effort. I'm getting my legs moving. If you like to use a crow hop or a step behind in the outfield, this is the way you would do it here for the long toss phase. Just get your feet moving. You're going nice and easy. You're stretching your arm out. All right, once your arm starts feeling good, you can start adding a little bit of intensity. If you think about what a pull down is, 
A pull down is finishing that throw with max effort. If you're long tossing early on in the long toss, you're throwing the ball on an arc, reaching your partner with some, <clears throat> excuse me, air behind the throw. The pull down phase, you're trying to take that same athleticism and reach him on more of a line. That would be your max velocity, max intent throws. So when you get to the pull downs, why are we doing the pull downs? Number one, you're teaching your body athleticism. You're trying to throw with a max athleticism move, legs, arms, everything in sync, getting it out in front, release point out in front, and literally pulling it down. That's that pull down phase where you're really finishing the throw. A good trick if you don't have a radar gun today and you're not gonna get that mile per hour feedback. I think a couple of you might have one at home. It's, a, it's very important to track the radar gun readings on the pull down days. I believe it says in the work at this, that's the only throw that you would radar gun today. Get a piece of paper out, write down your radar gun readings on the pull downs and I'll tell you how to enter them into the website. If you can't radar gun, video your pull downs, all right? To video long toss pull downs and compare it to the way you look when you pitch is priceless. You might see you're more athletic in the pull downs than you are on the mound. That probably means your radar gun readings are gonna be higher in the pull downs than they are on the mound. Your goal on the mound is to be as athletic as you are in those pull downs. And the pull downs, if you think about the why, you're throwing max effort you're stretching your arm out like you would on a, a game day. One thing you're getting from pull downs with a weighted ball is you're adding some layback to your elbow as you throw. You're stretching those ligaments out in a good way to get your elbow and your, your throwing arm ready for the, uh, the beating it takes when you're pitching in games. The other thing you're getting from pull downs, it's like a race car. If you put in all this work over the last few days, with all these silly little, silly little warm up and recovery drills, today is the day, like a race car, you get to blow out the engine. And it, it feels good to you know throw hard a couple times. And then it's super important that you're gonna go through a really high quality recovery session after the pull downs today. The other way I describe it, it's like lifting. It's like today's your max out day. And what do you gain from maxing out in the weight room? You gain strength, you add pounds. That's our goal with velocity pull downs. You know, you, you might not see the uptick in velocity from week one to week two, but I promise you at the end of a month or at the end of two months, you're gonna see that uptick in velocity. Um, and then I just wanna finish up by reminding you how important the recovery stuff is. On a day like today, you'll notice you've got that purple warm up, and you've got the recovery that goes with the after throwing portion of today's workout. And then obviously the strength training is equally important. If you're not getting stronger while you're doing a throwing velocity program, you're not going to see added velocity and it adds to the arm health that we're, we're out here trying to gain. Um, later on this week, one of my next tutorials will be ideas on how to kind of add in a little flat ground bullpen, work on spinning some pitches. But today it's about airing out the arm with some velocity pull downs. As always, I would love to see videos of what you're doing at home. Send them to me. Yesterday, I only had one video. You guys are better than that. Let's go. Today, I want to see video of the pull downs. I don't want reverse throws. I don't want pivot fix. I want to see video, and I'm going to demonstrate one for you right now. I want to see video of you guys maxing out. I'm about to hurt my arm because I didn't warm up. Here we go. Yeah. Have a good day.